Hello, once again audience. Great. Um, welcome to my new video on Mac Minecraft applications that you'll definitely need. So, let's get started. Number one, Ultimate Inventory. Well, it's an art of game inventory editor. Um, if I just, for example, open a file. Then, in that, I can just simply change the item ID and all that. I only use this because all the other ones didn't work for me. Anyway, number two, MC Map Live. Um, it's a Minecraft world viewing a world viewing application to look at your worlds and view them. Sorry if I'm not being particularly helpful. God, I might full screen it. If you just heard a spring, don't ask what it was. So, it's useful if you get lost. Like, I did in this world. Yeah, useful, eh? Next um, is Minecraft Jar Tool, an underused application for opening the Minecraft.jar without having to uh, actually go into it, change the file name from a zip to a zip, and then unzip it and then put it on the desktop. Let's use this, open it, change all the files that you want to do, and click we compile. And, and voila! Next, multi MC. Used for handling multiple Minecraft dot Minecraft directories. I, I can't actually close it on my Mac for some reason. It crashes my computer, so I'm not going to open it. Seems logical. But it's useful when like, you want, you've got Terraform graphs, and then you want to change and play onto Direwolf's mods, but you don't want to have to rename all the directories and all that. So it takes ages, which I would use a lot if it didn't crash. If anybody knows how to fix that, comment in the description below. Insert arrow here. Um, next, um, World Painter. Used to make your own basic Minecraft worlds. And here's one I made earlier. Always wanted to say that. God, this may take a bit. I'll just fast forward. And here it is. Pretty nice, but you probably don't know what it is. But this is just a top view. You can edit it in all ways you want. Like, I'm just pulling up the ground now. But I don't want to do that, so that's the world I made earlier. And I'll just show you what it looks like in actual Minecraft. And here it is. Yeah, cool. With my little mountain in the middle. It's nice. And the mysterious dirt patches. I did have some trees in it, but they mysteriously vanished. Which is why there are little dirt patches. Oh yeah, I don't know why they vanished. But nice to use. Fun. I I made my name earlier in gold blocks. Which was oh god, what the hell? Why the end stone? That is end stone, isn't it? Yeah. I'll deal with that some other time. Anyway, I should be back. Spritecraft. Great. Um, Spritecraft is used for turning images into Minecraft, into usable Minecraft files. So if I just get a picture of a gold block, I'll get I'll, I'll set a suitable size earlier for the video and run it. It'll create a schematic and a picture of it in blocks. 
and it will also tell you the resources you'll need, which is quite expensive. But it's worth it. Um, and I think this is the final one. No, Technic Launcher. Um, Technic Launcher is just for running Technic Pack, which I think is fairly useful. Good, because it's on Mac as well. But that's the final one, really, this time. Chunky. It's actually quite a good application. It's not one of my worlds, this. I don't claim any credit. Just zoom out a bit. You, it, it may look like a map viewing application, which isn't particularly good, but it's not that. You just select the part you want, and then right click. Um, it's making high res views of the world. So if I just position the camera um, in a good place, actually, I'll be back in a bit once I've made a view video, I mean picture, um, and put, well I'll just show you it then. Okay, I'll admit I didn't just make this, but I just saw it earlier, but it's good for it's pretty cool, eh? If you want to have cool pictures of a cool island you made. And that pulls it to a close, so great. I'll hopefully see you again next time.